What's happening, guys? Back again. Um, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's 37 degrees outside, 50 inside. February 29th. Leap year. Get an extra day this month. Um, said I wasn't going to do any body work on it. I lied. I had my OCD got the best of me. Um, I had to. I had to start doing body work on it. Um, put some mud on it, sanded it all down, feathered it all out. Looks like it's a little high, but it's not really high here. It's just the steel is high, but I can probably get, take care of this with primer. Um, looks nice. There's a little sharp edge right here. I'm going to have to smoothen this out a little bit, round it over, see how it's it's nice and round. Then you can actually see the edge. But uh, if anybody's familiar with the back of these cars, I mean, they go in all different directions. There's so many contours on the back of these Camaros that you got to sand one way, sand another, sand, sand on your head, sand. It's like, it's unbelievable. You got to go in so many different directions. It's just not like a square panel where you can, like a, like a trunk lid, you just go. Even the trunk lid has a little bit of a contour. But th these back ends here, man, they are really curvy. Um, but I got it. Looks good. Um. Went down the side here, sanded all that, cleaned that out. I had a little whoobie here, a little dent. I didn't even know it. I started blocking. When I started bringing my board sander down, I actually had a dark spot. So filled that up, sanded that, cleaned all this up, filled it all the way around. Um, still got a little bit more of a edge to feather here. But, I mean, the bumper sits right here. You're not going to see it. But I am going to take care of that problem. Um, I saw Tommy Shoe the other day. He was measuring some sort of steel and he had this gauge and I liked it so much I went out and got one I'm not copying you I'm just uh, I liked it so I went out and got it um, I know he's, he's, he's a be your own person but it's tough when there's so many people out there that you want to be like um, I gotta show you something Yesterday it was 60 degrees and sunny. Today it's snowing out. I'm expecting about two to three inches. Welcome to New England. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Uh, yeah, it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it, but you can pick it up in the lights there. Yeah, it's snowing. It sucks. But who knows? Tomorrow might be nice. Um, I'll go 51. Um, the uh, the car is progressing, and I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not gonna try to drag this out. I'm gonna make a short little, short and sweet little video. Uh, I like to do small ones because I think I run out of things to say, and I just stop either pausing or just stammering like I'm pretty much doing now. But uh. Yeah, I said I wouldn't do it, but I did. It's just one step that's I'm advancing in this whole process. So uh, I'll just I'm just gonna keep going right across the side of the car. I mean, uh, there's a little bit of fill I have to do down in here where I stitch the uh, the quarter panel to the rocker panel. I don't. It's gonna be too dark. It won't pick it up. Uh, the fender wells all ground up, all clean. It's also dark. I can't see, but that's all set. Um, Throw some primer on it, fix the little the little dents and imperfections, and then I'll flip the car around. But uh, yeah, I said I wasn't going to put any, I wasn't going to do any work on it, but I decided against it. I decided to do it. And once I throw primer on that, it's going to look a lot better. Um, the trunk situation, I was talking, I mentioned to Jeff a while ago, I had actually posted something on his channel. But uh, I got it down. Um, there is some stuff in the trunk right now that's preventing it from going all the way down. Um, my dirty little secrets. More car parts. I mean, I got parts. I've run out of room. I mean, I've acquired all these parts over the years. Uh, swap meets. Craigslist. More parts. Um, 
it's just it's unbelievable how much stuff you can accumulate over the course of time um, more parts it's there's more parts I've got totes and bins of parts for this car and this one and the 73 I have more in my shed I have more in a little storage shed I have in the backyard I have some in the house I've got brand new bumpers in the boiler room <laughs> running out of room I think I can I think I need a bigger house uh, or uh, yeah I think I need a bigger house but that's it for today appreciate you guys once again watching my videos and uh, everybody uh, keep keeping on have a good one peace